What's up, YouTube? Daver here. And Steve-O there. <laughs> and we are both the Fragrance Pros. <laughs> of course, we have another review for you today. This is going to be a Lacoste Essential Sport. And uh, this is one that I was able to sample a while ago and uh, was re-reminded of it. Uh, another sample here lately. You were, you were re reminded? I was re reminded of it. Can I say that? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> and uh, man, it was really good. I was glad I went back to it. I haven't smelled it in a while, and it's a good one. So let's get to it. Uh, it was introduced in 2009. Uh, it's classified as a citrus aromatic. And uh, the notes are ginger, bergamot, grapefruit, juniper, nutmeg, vetiver, patchouli. Musky notes, and I mean this one is key. Without this, there is no sport. Ice cold water at core. Come <laughs> That's on right. That's what I get. That's right. Absolutely. What else is there? <laughs> so let's start off. How about longevity for you? Longevity. Poor. Really? I'm gonna give the uh, I'm gonna give the face. <laughs> Not the face. <laughs> Poor. It was awful, man. Really? I, you know. It upset me mm. because I really like this smell. Yeah. Poor longevity. I have to ask you, how long are we talking in hours? One man's trash, another man's treasure here. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me tell you. Okay. I felt like it was a Steve O day on the days that I wore. Every day I wore this, mm -hmm. it was like a Steve O day. Spray it on, gone. Two minutes. Wow. <laughs> That's poor regardless. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad for me. Yeah. So I've got probably like three hours out of it. So which is average for me. <laughs> it's pathetic, but so it is. I would say mine came back. Mm -hmm. It would it would go and then come back, but for most part, I I couldn't smell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about uh projection? Projection. <laughs> Not again. Yeah, Poor. It's... Poor. It was awful, That's man. It was a close to the skin smell to me. Yeah. And um. When I wore it, no one could smell me. <laughs> That's sad. And again, it was one of those, it, 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 most of the time it was gone, and then it would come back a little bit, and I could smell it a little bit, and be like, oh, it's awesome, mm -hmm. and then it would go away. Yeah. For me, I actually got a uh, pretty decent projection, uh, really, for the whole life of the fragrance. So I was pretty excited about that. Actually, probably even a little bit better than average. What about season? Uh, definitely spring, uh, more lean towards summer. Yeah. I would definitely say spring and summer as well, uh, during the day mm -hmm. as well, more of a day fragrance. Oh, yeah. To me, uh, oh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, what about purpose? Uh, very casual. Yeah. Very sporty, hence the name more than likely. Yeah. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, total casual. I don't think you wear this any other time than casual. I mean, I, you could wear it to work, I guess, but it's more casual than anything else. Mm -hmm. You could wear it to work out, like I did, and it is amazing. Who needs deodorant? when you have the cost essential sport. Just Not kidding. This guy. That's right. No deodorant. Just kidding. <laughs> Ever. Ever. That's why cologne was invented. <laughs> no, just kidding, but it was actually great for working out. We'll get to that in a second. What does this remind you of? Uh, well, Besides watery notes. <laughs> that's right. Well, I mean, the grapefruit off the top, and I hate to steal it if that's what you're going to say. It's so obvious. The grapefruit is amazing. Yeah. Uh, first thing when you spray it on, if you're half asleep, it'll wake you up like that. It is super vibrant, super bouncy and lively. I don't know what other adjectives I can think to describe it, but real citrusy, real fresh, real punch in the face. Yeah. Um, I would say the same thing about the grapefruit. This is such a nice grapefruit. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I, I haven't smelled, I've only smelled a couple of fragrances that have grapefruit. The one that also comes to mind is uh, Bulgari Aquamarine mm. has grapefruit as well. This, this grapefruit for such a, a fragrance, department store fragrance, is amazing. It really is. And it's, it really smells like a really natural grapefruit. Mm -hmm. It's really great. Um, really great? <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> Grape isn't the fruit at all. I don't know no. I said that. <laughs> that was pretty nice, though. Thanks. Um, what this really reminds me of is a spring Saturday morning, and you wake up, and then you want to go to a yard sale. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Really reminds me of maybe it's just the grapefruit reminds me of drinking like grapefruit juice and yeah. then, like on, I don't know why but for some reason people like me I drink grapefruit juice on like more of a Saturday mm -hmm. than anything else yeah. so I guess that's why why it reminds me of that mm -hmm. and then spring is is really cooling so yeah. it reminds me of that more um, 
Uh, I get a blast of really well done natural grapefruit at the top along with some neroli and some green notes I can't identify. Um, I don't really get, um, I, I really don't get much of anything else. Yeah, it's pretty linear on me. Yeah. Um, it's nothing like essential. No. At no. all. So I don't know why they call this essential sport. Right. It's nothing like it. Um, it is very linear, mm -hmm. again, except for the, the grapefruit. The grapefruit dies that down. Side. Mm -hmm. But it stays on for a long time, though. Yeah. And I, that was actually a, a good surprise. Mm -hmm. um, this is better for younger guys, yeah. for a younger crowd, I think, for like high schoolers. Yeah. Um, and again, you for such a fragrance as like a sporty fragrance, you want it to last in the heat, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't last in the heat. Um, it just dies down really quickly. And this, to me, smells like a department store. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying, yeah. Lacoste Essential smells like a department store. To mm -hmm. me, Essential Sport smells like a, a department store. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of a bad thing to mm -hmm. me. I don't know why. It's just kind of a generic yeah. type thing. Yeah, there's something in the middle of this that is very generic. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, I would have to say that uh, I prefer the smell of Lacoste Essential Sport over Lacoste Essential. Agreed. Uh, but I get better marks, slightly better marks, on uh, Lacoste Essential than I do on Lacoste Essential Sport. Mm -hmm. and there, like a, again, there's something in the middle of essential sport that is just generic. Yeah. But anyway, uh, bang for buck, you can get this for fifty-three dollars for like a four-point-two ounce tester. That's pretty good. It's killer. And I think because this is newer, um, I haven't found this on many discounted stores as much as Lacoste Essential. Mm -hmm. But I think it's probably starting to make its way around to. And because this is a department store fragrance, yeah. I think you're going to find it's it cheaper. There. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to end up there. What about compliments? Did you get any compliments from this? Actually, I did. Um, I mentioned in the Lacoste Essential video uh, that I used to wear this to work at a warehouse, and uh, compliments for that weren't so good. i wear this one, and I would definitely get compliments, Yeah, which is nice. It's a really just, well, of course, we went in early in the morning, too. So like we were talking about, it's just a really fresh, vibrant smell, so it's perfect for the morning. Yeah, this is a fragrance that is that is very safe. I can see why Lacoste wanted to make this type of fragrance because there's nothing offensive really about this no. except the fact that it's generic. Yeah. But um, there's nothing really offensive about this and just slap the, the word sport on there mm -hmm. and it, it adds certain connotations to a fragrance. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I Which didn't I think this lives up to. Yeah, it, I, yeah I think you're right. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get really many compliments it's just one of those fragrances that you're going to smell okay, you're going to smell nice. And my wife said, it's okay. Which I mean... Not the worst. <laughs> not the worst, not the best. Yeah, definitely. Uh, final rating. Um, I'm going to give it three stars. It's one that I would like to own in the future. Um, I really dig the smell. The grapefruit is great. Um, but it's not one that I have to have right now. Um, and it's not one of the best sports or best like fresh aquatic type smells out there. Um, there's certainly others that I would rather have. Uh, so that's why I would go with three stars. Yeah, I would say also three stars as well. Especially all things considered, if this were if this had better longevity and projection, I would probably give this a four. Mm -hmm. But because of the the uh, poor longevity, poor projection, I have to knock it down to three. I like this better than essentials, uh, uh, across essential, mm -hmm. but I have to give it the same rating, three out of five. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. We're the Fragrance Brothers. We'll see you next week. See you later.